Welcome back folks, my name is Last No Meal and today we're gonna to be talking about New World Patch 101 which brings QOL changes, AFK prevention and bug fixes. Also keep in mind that the maintenance for the update started at 12 p.m. Central European Summer Time and 10 a.m. UTC. It's gonna be going on for four hours so Basically, for 240 minutes, as they said, you won't be able to join the servers. Keep in mind, this is actually a very normal thing when it comes to MMOs, and it can be especially annoying because, well, every time they want to do an update, especially bigger, bigger updates, they have to shut down the servers for the certain amount of time. So yes, by the time you're watching this video, the servers are probably going to be back online. Now, without further wasting your time, let's get into the video. So first things first, when it comes to the character server transfer, they said this. We've implemented the groundwork for the character server transfer and you may see elements of that work in the in-game store. We're continuing to work on this feature and we'll have more information on how the system works later this week when we release server transfers. Now this is going to be interesting to see how they handle it. Um, hopefully it's not too predatory when it comes to money and hopefully they actually give people a chance to have a free transfer at least for the first time or after a certain amount of time but obviously yes as they report more on this during the week I will of course make a video on it so don't forget to subscribe for that. When it comes to the war system in the game they changed turret projectiles in war from physical projectiles to use hit scan detection. This should help performance in war with fewer objects being spawned in the world. When it comes to AFK prevention they said this. In an effort to ensure players can't stay AFK especially in higher population servers We've made the following adjustments to the AFK prevention system. Added additional AFK prevention to ensure players cannot fool the existing system with simulated mouse movement, which is something that we have been seeing lately. Shortened the AFK warning message from 20 to 15 minutes and shortened the AFK disconnect from 25 to 20 minutes. So now if you're AFK for 20 minutes, you are going to be disconnected from the server. Keep in mind, some people have been reporting that um, they got kicked from the server even faster. Personally, I haven't had that issue. Um, I was able to stay for at least 20 minutes um, AFK when I was eating and it didn't kick me. So... Hopefully that's sorted out by now. When it comes to world queue, they've added a confirmation screen when a player attempts to leave the queue for a world, asking the player to confirm if they tend to leave the queue. This should help ensure nobody accidentally leaves the queue and misses out on their spot in line. This is actually something I've had a problem with because my I, I was dumb and I just pressed the button every time I was waiting and it, it happened. But luckily now they added a confirmation screen so you won't be exiting um, the queue um, by mistake. Now when it comes to general fixes, this is what they actually have for us. Fix the rare issue causing the interact key to not properly function on various objects in the world. They fixed an issue causing the barrel to not appear in pirate stance emotes. Yay! Fixed an issue where players did not receive coin as a reward for some activities. I think they owe me some money now. Fixed a bug where interrupting the fast travel animation may cause the player's character to become stuck inside of a house. I fixed an issue in territory standing rewards where some localized text was missing, etc, etc. Especially one of the best fixes is probably this one where they actually fixed the uh, game crashes related to New World Twitch integrations. This has been causing a lot of people to actually crash, especially when they connect um, Twitch to New World. And of course they fixed an issue where certain item containers could be looted in infinitely um some people did actually discover this exploit they have been using it and keep in mind for one thing whenever you use an exploit there is a huge chance you will be banned or at least you know for a few days you will get a warning that's basically against um their uh, their terms of service so be careful when it comes to ai fixes they fixed an issue causing pastor walsh to spawn aggressively at the volsham point of interest they fixed an issue causing enemies to spawn slower than intended in the bull rush wash uh, poi it's actually something uh, which is a problem across the board there are actually zones um that spawn really really slowly um, especially when it comes to normal enemies i'm not talking about bosses i'm just talking about normal enemies um, hopefully that's actually fixed soon as well. Fixed an issue where Master Zint 
could have duplicated respawns at the Cannon Tomb POI. So obviously a lot of uh, slower and double respawns are getting fixed, hopefully the rest are fixed as well. When it comes to quest fixes, they added missing journal information about the recommended quest levels for players attempting to unlock the second faction rank. This is good, a lot of people have been reporting that um, they, they, they thought it was bugged but it actually wasn't, you had to do a, a quest um, basically fixed an issue where the Azot Fulminate quest will be unavailable to players if they first complete the Vinceward uh, quest, etc, etc. So obviously they have been working on quests, they have been working on queues. I mean, right now they're just doing basically the prep work for the um, server transfer, which is going to be happening hopefully um, by the end of this week, but we shall see again. Keep in mind, they're still now fixing the bugs before they go into anything uh, content related, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what, uh, what they have to um, do for it to for this game to run properly on, on, on certain things. But obviously, when it comes to the game itself, so far, you know, it's looking good. A lot of people are happy with it. Uh, of course, when it comes to bugs and, you know, they are there, uh, I can see that they haven't really... Uh, did anything when it comes to weapons and damage and you know balancing but that's probably coming in the later patches we shall see again tell me down below what do you think about this also check us out on twitter and discord for more updates and don't forget to again subscribe because i will be posting whenever they update the game and i will be informing you on all of the changes they actually make in the game through those updates and thank you so much for watching this is lkm signing out and also huge thanks to my current patreon supporters stay classy as i said and bye bye